Hey, hey, universe and mining family. Grab your shovels and your pickaxes. Welcome to the show. I'm Nemesis, and of course, I'm not your babysitter. Do your own research, but let's dig in. Hey, yo, Crypto Nation and mining family. What's going on, guys? So, definitely got some really kind of cool items into the mine just as of the other day guys yo if you guys didn't see me on decentralized tv um for late nights in the mine with my man crypto mikel guys if you haven't checked it out definitely go over there and check that stuff out it's awesome information and while you're there you know definitely check us out we get we we've been doing this for like months now on decentralized tv if you haven't been checking us out you should um, but one of our good friends uh, from that Yiggity Yen from the island ooh, ooh, had a deal going out on that Yen. Guys, so I picked up some stuff and this is why I don't own crypto. Ooh, so my man was Sabi Ninja. Yo! This thing is brand new. He didn't even use it. I had to cut the tape on this thing to open it up. My God, my man, that was amazing. I got a brand new motherboard. Whoa, dude. And then he threw, uh, I'll wait until the, towards the end on this one. But, cause that's kind of like what the, the show is gonna be all about. So. Oh, MSI Armor 1080Ti, oh, dude, it is legit, guys, totally legit, dude, a Duke 1080Ti, yo, winning, and last, uh, but not least, oop, boom, yo, Excellent deal. I could not pass it up. I had to have me some. You can see I FOMO'd into some cards. But um boom. So <clears throat> I've actually had a few requests on um, how to put together a mining rig frame. So again, my man wasabi ninja hooked me up, he tossed these in, tossed two of these in for free, yo, for free. So, of course, no instructions in how to put these together. Thank God I have a little prior knowledge on this stuff because that would really make it really kind of hard. Uh, so I put this one together last night just to make sure I knew what pieces were what, uh, to which frame I had to make sure what I, and see what I was missing, basically. Um, there is a couple of pieces that I am missing off of the other one, um, which really aren't too big of an issue, really. Really isn't, guys, it isn't. So, some of these little motherboard standoffs, so here, I can actually unscrew one and show you. So your motherboard doesn't just sit down on the aluminum chassis. It sits and gets screwed into one of these. So this screws into the chassis and then a little screw goes into the end of this. And life is happy. Life is good. Go ahead and screw this back in. Yeah, just like that. The stuff goes together fairly easy. Definitely takes a couple of hands. Um, so got a broken hand or you've only got one hand you're gonna have to find a friend that can loan you the other hand um, it's definitely something that takes both hands unfortunately um, so yeah let's dig into this guys I got a whole nother frame to put together and I'll show you all how this is done so without any further ado now that I have my instruction built over there we can go into this and Boop. And we're going into just like that, guys. So let me get my knob knocking knees up out of the way here. And go ahead and get all out of the way here. All 
right. So, bam. Go ahead and so <clears throat> these are the pieces here for the motherboard themselves. So it's you know it's got all the standoffs on one side, but um, each one of these have holes. And if you noticed that there's two holes on this end and three on this end, and it does make a difference on the rig frame itself. So. Definitely going to have all of these facing this way with the two holes facing away from me. Makes life a little easier to put in it together. And usually these uh, rig frames come with their own little sets of tools and a bunch of screws and all that good stuff. And go ahead. <clears throat> and and if you noticed on these for some of the rails, they have a nice little recess in and then no recess on this side for the screw head to fit in. So make sure that the screw heads are going in through this side first. Makes it look a little cleaner when it's all done. And one of these also has a hole in it with its little drill out on it. So make sure that that one goes alongside these two. So that these two are basically matching up. And grab the one that has no holes in it. It's just a rail. And that one will live life right in between these two, just like this. Now, I, as a suggestion, I don't tighten everything down until more towards the end of this. Um, just way everything is more level. I don't know how else to say it. Mm -hmm. All right, so put that together just like so. As you can see, I've just made this piece here. So this piece here, guys, is the one that I just made. So bam, I just made half of this, the bottom of this. And <clears throat> if you notice that uh, these longer pieces, they've got two beautiful holes on there. And again, making sure that everything is matching up properly on there. And these pieces here should be facing down. It gives you the right height for the bottom piece. Again, I'm not tightening everything down, like I said. got the base of this together already. Just that fast, guys. 
Again, I'm not tightening all of this down all the way yet. Just like that. <clears throat> and now we get into some of the uprights. Uh, now the uprights are not as fun to put together um, just because you have um, these little cap captive nuts that have to go into the rails. Um, so it's hard to show it on here. Backwards. That's what was going on. I'm like, why is this thing going in the way I want it to? All right, let's try that again. Now that it's going exactly the way I want it. Again, not tightening anything down. Ah, not quite yet. I still need to secure everything. So bam, one one leg done. Bam, I got one upright on there. Let's go for another one. All right, so that's not it. That's for the second level. There we go. All right. Mm -hmm -hmm. wanting to pick up that one. And it's these ones that I need.
And if you guys got any questions whatsoever, please post them down below. Most certainly, guys. I'm just putting this stuff together. Just showing you how it goes together. That's all I'm doing. Just like that. Now the whole base is basically built. And again, I'm not tightening anything down. I'm just snugging it up. I have to drop everything too. And bam, just like that. All right. So let's go ahead that on there like that and now I can put this on there now this is gonna have the um, part of the standoff that supports the back side of the card um, for the example what I need to put on next is this piece right here guys so this piece and this piece here Oops, let me see if I can get it in the view there we go so this piece needs to go on next and this long piece and these pieces will support the back of the card right here so the next one we put on is that the side piece rails so again we have the little hole here um, we don't want it closer to this pole we want it closer for the hole to be on this one this way it's got the proper distance to support the graphics card. Excellent. So let's go ahead and install this now. Bam. And a bam. Look at that, guys. Just that easy. Go ahead and put the other rail on. <laughs> All right, now I can go ahead and put this long support bar in. So guess what guys, I think I can tighten all of this down now. Alright, that's tight. That's tight. So that's everything on the upper level that's now tight. Now I can go into my lower level and start tightening all of this up. Which I had almost tightened already.
So now that's everything on the upper level and the bottom level done. And now I just need to put the front support of the graphics card. Ahead and put a little bit of tension on this. All right, so that's another whole frame built right in front of you guys. I hope you guys have any, if you guys have any questions of any sort, let me know. Um, and of course, somebody's gonna sit there and knock on the door. Of course, my day off and people are going to come by, of course, it's always how it's going to be. Alright, so, and then the, the frames would actually go together just like this, but I would put the other one on top, actually. So, if you guys are wondering how these actually marry up together, they come together with one of these to go on to each one of the rail sides. And I can actually drop this in and demonstrate. Oh, if the frame wants to cooperate. There we go. All right. So as you see, oop, these rig frames would just kind of come together just like that. And then there's little set screws up into this. Oop, oh, those aren't them. Those aren't them. Ah, there they are. And they come in with little set screws um, to help kind of hold into the frame. Um, and that's pretty much how those, how the VETA frame, the six GPU VETA frames go together and how they are stacked on top of each other. Um, let's see here. I hope you guys found that very informative. Enjoyed it. Definitely, if you guys like that, smash the lazy like button, subscribe, hit the bell notification, share these videos with everybody else out there. Yo, that helps me out. And if you have any questions, any whatsoever, most certainly drop some comments in down below and I will definitely get back with you. If you aren't already, definitely check out my Discord. Jump on in there ask some mining questions we are all very friendly people out there that's what i like about my community of people is that we are more than happy to help you out so definitely bounce on in there help out you know check it out we'll definitely help you out where we can and if not you might be able to help us out yo for sure and like always guys i'll definitely see you all on the next one